Welcome to the show. You're watching Plugged In. I'm your host, Taylor Ellison. Here's a look at what's coming up. Lotus goes public in the U.S. to expand their EV brand. Faraday Future is headed for production. Plus, builders of custom electric cars have the chance to show off their creations this summer. And get the details on a new ultralight e-bike. All that and more is coming up. You're watching Plugged In. Lotus goes public with the Lotus Technology Division. The legendary Lotus Cars is spinning off its EV division, Lotus Technology, in an initial deal valued at $5.4 billion. Founded in 1948, Lotus is the iconic sports car brand that Colin Chapman led to Formula One winning fame decades ago. Lotus Innovations and Vehicle Dynamics drove the early success of industry giants like Tesla. In 2017, the brand was bought by Geely, who also is the parent company behind Volvo and Polestar. Lotus Tech expects to break new ground in electrification. Its first fully electric hyper SUV, the Electra, is expected to begin delivery in China, and planning is underway for future delivery to the U.S. The company plans to broaden its portfolio of luxury EVs in the next four years, beginning with the expected launches of a sedan and an SUV. The first all-electric Lotus supercar, the 2,000-horsepower Avaya, made a dynamic public debut in recent years, being marketed as the world's most powerful car. The best-selling Mustang last quarter didn't have a V8 under the hood or any other kind of gasoline engine. The electric Mustang Mach-E led the way for the Ford Mustang family in Q4, outselling every gas-powered Mustang model combined. After announcing plans to reduce prices on its Mach-E, Ford now says they'll be building even more new plug-in Mustangs to help meet demand. Ford's all-electric Mustang Mach-E crossover was the third most popular EV model in the U.S. last year. With expanded EV tax credits from the Inflation Reduction Act and discounts on new orders, Ford expects demand to continue to be strong in 2023. Faraday Future will put its FF91 into series production this March. The company announced that its FF91 Futurist electric vehicle is headed for series production thanks to a successful $135 million raise along with previous funding commitments. The CEO of Faraday Future says the availability of these additional funding commitments provides confidence that the FF91 can reach the SOP milestone in March 2023. The FF91 Futurist received a 381-mile EPA range rating last October. This tops the vehicle's main competitor, the Tesla Model X, which tops out at 348 miles. Powered by three electric motors and making 1,050 horsepower, the FF91 can sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 2.4 seconds. Builders of custom electric cars will have the opportunity to showcase their one-off creations this summer at Electrify Show Off, a new addition to Electrify Expo. Speaking of custom creations, the German tuning legends at Yiga have revealed a new suite of upgrades for the all-electric Porsche Taycan. The package includes a set of 21-inch forged wheels with golden exterior accents, as well as a generous amount of real carbon fiber applied to various body panels on the hood, front fenders, and rear bumper. They claim the modifications have helped the Taycan lose 99 pounds, and no changes have been made to the car's powertrain. The most powerful Turbo S variant of the Taycan produces up to 750 horsepower and 774 foot-pounds of torque, which makes it capable of accelerating from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.6 seconds. And while this package won't technically improve the Taycan's performance, the small weight reduction may give drive a little extra oomph. The Swiss bike maker Thomas announces a new light e-bike along with a brand new location in California. 
The Thomas Swiss Rider is what they're calling the e-bike for life, weighing in at just 25 pounds. The bike is designed to be an extremely light companion for train and office, with enough power to ride with ease. The bike features futuristic design, a filigree carbon frame, and integrated electric max and drive system, the same technology used on NASA's Mars rover. The Swiss Rider is available in three different colors and comes in two versions, one for urban commuting and a road option. The price for that Swiss Rider Urban starts at just under $6,000. For all these stories and more, visit electrifynews.com.